Alrighty, we are back with our Mario Matter thing. It's episode four. We have a lot of small news, which then equals big news. So guys, we have big news for you today on the Mario Matter. Nintendo has put out a bunch of tweets, a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff like that with updates to games, updates on certain things, updates to a lot of things. Almost everything here is an update. Well, it should be pretty interesting, but um, yeah, I want to dive into this because I had just like went and did my research. So I want to dive into everything right now. No, no time to waste. But uh, is there anything I want to get off my chest before I, before we start? Anything to say before we start? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I'm missing my left Joy-Con. Uh, it broke. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. Uh, <laughs> funny story. I'm trying to play Switch Sports. Uh, keep in mind, I've never dropped the controller. I just use it a lot. Uh, I tried to connect it to, to my Switch. It just doesn't connect. It did not connect. I, I tried sync button, hold sync button, every YouTube guide known to man. Didn't work. Sent it for a free repair. If you did not know, you can get your Joy-Con uh, repaired for free. So what are you doing if your Joy-Con has a problem? Although don't, don't send your Animal Crossing Joy-Cons or any other special Joy-Cons. You won't get them back. I did not do that, but that's what I've heard. I've heard that you don't get them back. So... Even if my Animal Crossing Joy-Cons break, I'm never sending those in. I'm not I'm not setting them into a repair ever. But uh anyways, news time. So I have them I have them all written down and I'm going to read some tweets on Nintendo's Twitter while I do read some of these. Now the one that interests me, guys, uh I I've asked this before, I think on the last episode. I mean, you guys still play Switch Sports, right? Well, Switch Sports got got a uh update. Switch Sports got an update. Get a kick out of this, reads the tweet. Get a kick out of this. On 726, July 26, which is actually, uh, when I post this, it'll be in three days, a free update for Nintendo Switch Sports adds new features like the ability to use the leg strap accessory in four on four and one on one soccer matches. No one's going to do that. Uh, I'll probably try it, but otherwise, <laughs> otherwise no. Uh, new volleyball moves and more. Now, my biggest concern. Uh, with the leg strap for the soccer game. Okay, so you can obviously use your, you can use your right leg to kick, left leg to kick. You can kick straight. You can do all these funky moves. You can do a diving header. Are you still gonna have to hold your Joy Cons with the leg strap on? Because if you have to still use the Joy Cons, it makes the entire thing pointless. Like, okay, guys, would you rather use? The two Joy-Cons, and that's it, or the two Joy-Cons plus a leg strap. Is it, like, did, do you need that? Do you need the Joy-Cons? I assume that that, that, that you do, because you only get one leg strap. It goes on one leg. How will it know if you kick with your left leg? So you still need Joy-Cons. What's the point? I get that that one-on-one -on -one soccer match or, like, the penalty mode. That one makes sense, because you're not trying to kick left and right and straight. And if you want to kick any of those ways, I guess you can do it with that one leg strap. But in the four-on-four -four mode, it makes no sense. It, it 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 makes no sense at all. I, I don't get it. Why why still use the Joy Cons? It should be like one or the other. It should be use Joy Cons or use the leg strap. It should be it should be one or the other. And then the other thing that I mentioned for the update is new volleyball moves. Uh. I don't know why they added that as if it was missing something. Volleyball was kind of boring. It did get a little bit repetitive. But in this screenshot here, it shows somebody moving uh, using a uh, move called Slide Attack. I guess it's just a new animation. I mean, it, pro it probably doesn't affect gameplay. I mean, like, what different does it do? I don't know. I'm not trying to hate on this game. I played it yesterday, and I will play it today because I, I, I want to get the new outfits and stuff. I'm not hating on the game. I just don't get it. I just, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Um, yeah, it just, I, I feel like they're trying to like make the game become alive again, but it, it, it just didn't work. They're adding new animations. It probably just, it, it doesn't affect any gameplay. I, I don't think uh, for the volleyball one, but the soccer one is weird. It's, it's joy cons or joy cons in leg strap. I'll try it out. I'll see how it is. And I'll let you guys know how it is next episode of the Mario Matter, only on YouTube. But, yeah, I, 
I didn't understand it, but we're not done. Also, which is, why wasn't this in here before? <laughs> why was this not in the game beforehand? So guys, if you play enough games online for Switch Sports, you can rank up. So for example, I think that, that you start off at like E, and then you can go up to D, C, B, and A. It's a top rank right now. But now they added in, they added in S rank and like a unlimited rank. And it has that like unlimited logo, you know? Why, why was that not in here before? That's like, that's like a Splatoon. Splatoon, which is a game that a lot of you guys have played. You know how you can rank up, you know, like, uh, same thing. Isn't it like C, B, A, plus, you know, what, you know, whatever. And then there's S. That's like if they added S months later. It's like, it makes no sense. Why, why would they do that? There has been a lot of people at A rank in Switch Sports that want S, but it's only being added in Oh, wait a minute. Okay, sorry. I just had a, I, I, I had to cut the podcast because I thought I just messed something up. I thought that this whole S rank thing was like, yeah, go in the game and get S rank as if it was already there. No, I was right. They are adding in S rank. That, that, that makes no sense at all. That makes zero sense. I had to cut it because I was like staring at it. I was like, is it being added or was it always there? It's being added. That makes no sense to me. Why, why are they adding in S rank later on? Like, uh, I, I don't get it. Switch Sports, like, this, this this whole thing is just, it's a mini update to make the game alive again. But we should really be looking forward to, I believe, in fall, yes, in fall, they will be adding a new golf mode. Uh, in the, I believe it was the Direct in which Switch Sports got announced, so the last Direct, um, they announced that the golf mode would be available in the fall, so... We can look forward to that with the next Nintendo Direct hopefully being in September. It'll hopefully be then because September uh, will be pretty much fall, I think. I think September 21st or something is fall. So, um, yeah, hopefully around there. Maybe, maybe like some kind of October announcement. I have no clue. But you have to think. So, guys, there are six sports in Switch Sports. That's hard to say. Uh you know, and, and they're and they're like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're like in a neat little row. If you add one more golf, it goes it, it's like nice and even, you know? And then and then you have one big one right here. It it it, it won't look good. So Nintendo has to add uh one more sport to make it look good. Because otherwise it's neat one one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have one big one right here. If that makes any sense, like they would, they would have to add one more sport. As much as I want it to be boxing, it's it's gonna be like basketball or like cricket. No, <laughs> it would never be cricket. But it's gonna be either basketball or boxing. I mean, why was there not boxing to begin with? Oh, you know what? I, oh, I totally forgot. It'll be baseball. It'll for sure be baseball. There's, uh, well, no, because you can't play that online. It's, it's, it's kind of slow if you play it online. Because you'll never get to, like, it'll never be your turn. Like, with Wii Sports, you could be any me, step, step up to the plate, and bat. I mean, they could make it work. I don't know. There's a lot of things that it really could be. I don't know. I don't know. It could be basketball. It could be baseball. It could be boxing. Honestly, if, if you guys are familiar, I almost feel like all that, like, influencer boxing stuff, I feel like Nintendo, like, looks at it as if it's, like, not real boxing. Because, trust me, they they are aware, at least a little bit. And so it's like, oh, boxing, these YouTubers are boxing. We're not going to put it in. It's, it's, it's boxing's dead. It's like a clown sport now. I feel like that is almost one reason why they did not put boxing in Switch Sports. No, like, seriously. They were not going to put it in Switch Sports. Boxing, back in the day, I mean, it was boxing. If you if you liked it, you watched it. If you didn't like it, you didn't watch it. But now it's a little bit more popular. They're, 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 they should, but they won't put it in Switch Sports. And Matt will definitely not come back either. Matt is dead. Matt, Matt is dead. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the update and everything. And yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll probably add either baseball or basketball. I think basketball would be cool. Or, or they could add all three and make it 10 sports. That would be 10, right? We have seven with golf, eight, nine. Yeah, it would be 10. So maybe they can add three more. 
I think that they would add one more. You don't need more than eight sports, I would think. But, I mean, that would be cool to have ten sports in there. Um, I don't really know what other sports you could add. I'm sure that there are some. I just can't think of them. Maybe hockey? How would that work? I mean, I guess it would work similar to, like, soccer. Yeah. I mean, there's there are a lot of sports. It's just which ones do they want to add. I don't know. But moving on from, from Swiss sports, a game that you guys probably don't even play anymore. <laughs> uh, moving on. Another game got an update. Mario Strikers Battle League. Guys, I, ju I just said recently in a, in a video that we would never hear about this game again. Because I really didn't think so. I thought they were going to release it, and it's a dead game. Maybe it is a dead game, and, then, and that's why it needs updates. But Mario Strikers Battle League got an update uh, introducing Daisy and Shy Guy, I believe. I kind of want to read the tweet. Uh, it got an update releasing those two characters. The first Mario Strikers Battle League free update is available now. Put your technique on display with Daisy or go for a well-rounded approach with the balanced Shy Guy. Enjoy a new gear set and stadium too. So a gear set and a stadium. And then there's read more on the actual website. We're not going to read too much more. Um... I mean, I can't speak much about this, but I did want to bring it up as it is news. I can't speak much about it just because I don't own the game. I don't ever plan to own the game. I've never been into Mario Strikers. I I, I played the I played the, the the demo in length. Trust me. I didn't I didn't like it. It just it, it wasn't my game. It was not my game. But uh, for those who like it, that is cool. You know, get a nice update for your game. But it'll be just like Mario Golf. They updated it what once or twice, and then they. They have not updated it since. It'll be just like that. Uh, no, no, but for those who like that game, that is great. It's just not my cup of tea. That's all. My my cup of tea is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, okay? So I can't really talk much. But um, And I was looking around for the case, but I think it's in my... I, I think it's in here somewhere. Um, so yeah, I can't speak much. I, I just wanted to bring it up just because... It's cool, but I can't give my thoughts. I've never tried it. Uh, the update is, is available now, though. It's available now as of 16 hours ago. When you're watching this, it'll be like two days ago. So, uh, yeah. So, there's that. Free update. Go and get it. But otherwise, uh, a bunch of little news. Not a bunch, but we do have some little news and two other big topics. Do we start with a big topic now? So, we just... To two bit okay okay so we did two little topics let's talk about this guys so nintendo <laughs> voice crack nintendo put out a tweet i'm trying to find it right now that's why i'm not looking at the camera here we are i'm gonna read it <sighs> updates on the discontinuation of eShop for wii u and nintendo 3ds now guys we've touched on the 3ds and wii u eShop closing but i they've added several dates calendar dates as to, you know, when these things will no longer be available to use, stuff like that. So, as of August 29th, 2022, it will no longer be possible to add funds to your 3DS or Wii U eShop account. So, if you want to get a game, you better add funds now. Now, I have seen some people say, if your Nintendo account for the Wii U and the Switch are the same account, you can add funds through the Switch, which will then show up on your Wii U. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's true. I've never tried it. Uh, I've not seen anybody like say for sure it's true. Everyone that I've seen say it is like, well, can't, can't you do that? Or doesn't that work? I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, you might want to try it for yourself and see if that works. But even still, if you had did that on the Switch, I'm sure it would work right now. But after August 29th, maybe it just like stops updating. Like, it doesn't show your funds. Maybe it just stops like checking with your switch to, to, to see if you have funds in there. Maybe it just stops checking it. So that, therefore you can't add it. You can add it. You cannot add any more funds. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I've never tried it though. So um, if someone here has tried it or will try it, please let me know in the comments if you can do that. If you can add funds on your switch that then show up on your 3DS. But make sure that you do that. Uh. I want to know if you can do that after August 29th, which is obviously ways away, and no one's going to watch this after August 29th. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if, if someone has done it now, 
uh, before August 29th? Let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe you can do that. I don't know. But then, so we knew that the eShop for both of those consoles would close in March 2023. But we, I don't believe that we knew the exact date. I don't believe we might have. But the exact date is March 27th, 2023. As of that day, the eShop for the Wii U and the 3DS family will be closed forever. It'll be closed forever. I thought it was a little bit soon. Um, but yeah, so pretty much uh, if you want any games on the eShop, get them now. But guys, this is also pretty big. You know, you, you know why? Because... Physical games, physical 3DS games are going to inflate a year after that. You want to, like, pile up on, on, on 3DS games. Like, like you want to get all the ones that, that you have not gotten right now. Like, I mean, like, after this podcast, go and find some. You, there is no time to wait. Like, I'm not forcing you to buy any game. But if you have one in one that you've not yet pulled, pulled the trigger on... You, I mean, I mean, you need to get it. You need to get it. Obviously, not all the games will inflate. Like you can, for example, uh, the 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 Wii game. Uh, there's a lot of cheap Wii games and stuff, but um, like like Super Mario Super Mario Galaxy, classic, twenty eight bucks, twenty five bucks. Not all of them are expensive, but even for things like so on the Wii, Mario Party Nine, seventy bucks, was like forty or something. I'm just saying, like, some of them will inflate. Not all, but a lot. No, not even a lot. Like, like 35% maybe will kind of jump up there in prices. So you want to get them now. Maybe the game that, that you're after won't go up. But better safe than, 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 than sorry, right? Right? Better safe than, than, than sorry on getting your game. Now, I do want to mention a few games that I am after. I'm going to try to get. So when I played my my 3DS, I never like I was not in in a Zelda back then. Breath of the Wild actually got me into into Zelda games. I know I'm sorry. Um, I just wasn't into games like that when I was what eight 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 when the 3DS came out. Yeah, I, I had have been like eight. Okay, so yeah, I just wasn't into games games like that. I bought New Leaf. I bought. Um, Freaky Forms Deluxe or something. I was into games like that. I was never into, into Zelda, so therefore, I want to try to get uh, probably both of them, Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask. I might try to get both of them. I don't even know, like over like the next few months. Uh, is there really any other ones that I want? I mean, maybe like some of the Pokemon games because I was not into Pokemon either. I did have Pokemon X. Then I sold it and bought it again. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I might, like... I'm, I'm enjoying Mystery Dungeon on the 3DS. I'm mean, on the Switch. Should I get it on the 3DS? I don't even know. I'll, I'll find out. And I've never played Sun and Moon, those games, either. Uh, maybe I'll try that. I don't even know. But those are some games that I might be after uh, during this 3DS inflation period. It's not even... 3DS games, like, I want to check. So, guys... I just mentioned, what, Sun and Moon? Pokemon, Sun, and Moon. I bet you that they're like, or I'll just type, uh, I'll type Pokemon Sun. I bet you that they're like 30 bucks. So that's a sealed copy for 50. You don't, you, you know, you don't need that though. So here's one, pre-owned, excellent condition, $19. Like, like these games are not bad right now. They're not, they're not bad. I, 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 I kind of want this one. Excellent condition, does look pretty it, it it does look pretty excellent uh so tempted to, to buy that one but no i won't um but yeah like you want to get these games now uh before like pokemon sun is like 65 dollars no like seriously maybe it won't maybe that won't be a game that jumps up in price but a lot of them will trust me um and then so yeah Moral, moral of the story, get your 3DS and Wii U games now. I'll also tell you about, I'll tell you about some Wii U games that I, uh, want to get before the shop closes. Um, I had one in mind. Uh, Paper Mario, no, I don't want that one. Shoot, I totally had one in mind. 
It was like oh 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 it was like um I have to make sure that I have the I have the name right. It was DuckTales Remastered. 50 bucks used. I think it retailed for like 40 bucks, right? So it's already kind of jumped up in price. I do want to get it on the Wii U. Uh the I mean that game looks sick. <laughs> I mean there's there's just no way around it. That game is sick. Uh 45 bucks used. Uh you know I'll take it. I kind of want that one. Um, so yeah, those are some games I'm, I'm, I'm after. DuckTales for the Wii U, nothing else really. And then for the 3DS, Zelda and Pokemon games. So yeah, get in on your 3DS and Wii U games now. Um, and yeah, Switch games are still around, so you have tons of time to collect your Switch games. Probably for like the next three years, you have they'll, they'll be in like stores and stuff. Uh, maybe even a little longer. Uh, so yeah, that is it. For the 3DS and Wii U eShop. Uh, now to move on. Big topic, little topic, big topic, little topic. Let's go to a, li a li uh, little topic. Little topic. Uh, we have two Kirby, almost three Kirby topics. Kirby fans, tune in. Buckle up. So, one Kirby thing that, I mean, this just, this, this just confused me. I don't know why they tweeted this. So, Nintendo, Nintendo tweeted out. Nintendo tweeted out this video of Kirby. Uh... It's, it's captioned, Sweet Pancake Dreams, Kirby. And I'll try to put a little bit of it on the screen. It's like a Kirby bedtime story. I didn't, like, really watch it. I'm, like, skipping through it right now. But it's it it's just, like, this funny video of Kirby about, about to go to bed. Hey, Kirby. <laughs> Let's go and sail the Sea of Stars. Okay, so, I mean, I just... Why, why did they do that? I get it. It's cool. I'm not complaining. It, it was a great video, but it's just like, why do they do things like that? Like, why do they pay someone to make this video about Kirby going to bed as if it would, guys, do you think that it made somebody buy Kirby Forgotten Land? It, it, it probably did. It definitely did. I bet Kirby Forgotten Land sales were like, you know, up, down, and then it skyrocketed, I bet, after that nap time video. No, 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 I'm just kidding. But before that, a little, a little bit before that, Nintendo tweeted out, float into Kirby in the Forgotten Land with 150 star coins in one car mouth cake, whatever that is. Uh, enter this present code in-game to claim your reward. So they're obviously trying to push people to buy the to buy the game. I mean, that that game sold great. Do you need more people to buy it? I don't. I don't have the game yet. I I, I don't have it. I'll probably buy it later later this year. I have nothing against Kirby games. I just haven't got around to buying it. Um. I mean, like you you paid someone. I mean, I, I guess you're making the money back because someone probably bought the game after seeing that. They're like, oh yeah, Kirby's going to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. And then when I wake up, I'll go buy that game. Because I forgot that it exists. Like, it's like someone someone bought it after the seeing that. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm just bringing it up because it, it confused me. You don't you don't see a lot of cartoon videos like that. Uh, and I, th I thought it was cool, but I was also confused, which is why I brought it up. Um, kind of kind of weird. Kind of weird. But also, we have... Uh, let's go into a bigger topic, not huge, but big. We have new games on the SNES and NES Switch Online, uh, what do you call it? Console Switch Online collection of games. We have three new ones added, two to the SNES and one to the NES. So, we got three games, two on the SNES. Those two games are Kirby's Avalanche. I am not familiar with that game. I don't know what it is, but, you know, I might try it out. I'll try it out. And then other the other game is Fighters History. Also don't don't know don't know what that is. I feel like I should know what that is, but I just don't. I just don't know. I, I, I don't know what that is. And then for the NES, the NES got a game. Guys, I'm gonna mess up. I'm I'm gonna mess this up so badly. Okay, so for any fans of this game, excuse me right now. Okay, so we have on the NES. Diva, Diva, Story 6, Imperial of 
Nirsartia. Sarita. Sarita. Guys, I don't know. I I don't know. Will I play that game? No. Will I will I learn to pronounce it correctly? No. I mean, I'm just giving you the news. You know, I wasn't trained by a by a Nintendo rep on how to say this. I don't know. How do you say that? I don't know. I don't have interest in trying to even say that correctly. I just I'm just giving you the news. I'm giving you the news. Kirby's Avalanche. Um, I might try it out. I'll probably try it out. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably buy the new uh, Kirby game, Forgotten Land or whatever. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Dogs are barking. I I'm sure they're playing Diva Story 6, whatever the heck. I I I'm sure that that's what they're playing right now, and they got excited when I said it. Uh, or they don't like how I pronounced it. Either way, uh, we have one more... Uh, if they keep barking, I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut the podcast a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna try to continue. We have one more Kirby's Forgotten Land. Uh, we have Kirby's Forgotten Land got profile icons in the Nintendo Switch, like uh, the Switch Online icon. So you, you know how you can make new icons and stuff. The Kirby game got icons. How many times? Will, how many times will I say icons? You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Like, like you guys know. It got icons to customize your Switch profile with, and I'm trying to find them right now so I can tell you what, so I can show you what they look like. Um, so, uh, icon elements is what it is. So, wave one of the Kirby Forgotten Land mission and rewards icons for your profile. We have one, like, inflated Kirby as if he is jumping. We have an inflated Kirby, and I'm gonna try, my, I'm, I'm gonna put this on, I'm, I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere but um so yeah we have that and then we have a uh, i'm not i'm not familiar with kirby i don't know what i don't know what the thing next to it is it it, it looks like a i don't know a, a flying mouse yeah I, I don't know and then we have uh wave two july 27th to august 3rd it'll update every week we have king ddd looking frustrated at something I don't even know. And then we have a... Uh, oh, I know I know what that thing is called. What's that thing called? Like a Waddle Dee or something? Waddle Dee? Shoot, what's that thing called? I totally knew it. I was so confident reading this, re reading off these icons. And I don't... I forget what that thing is. It's something. You, you guys know. And then we have... Um, a Raging Bull. I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. Uh, anyone who... Anyone who's played that Kirby game, I'm, I'm sure knows, knows what that is. Uh, and then we have Kirby. Uh, what is that, a trumpet? A, 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 a megaphone? I don't even know. Uh, so that's August 3rd, August 3rd to August 10th. And then we have Wave 4, Kirby Car, and Meta Knight, Mega Knight. <laughs> Guys, my, my, my Kirby ease is not good. It's Meta Knight, right? Okay, I have to get that one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it's it's, it's Meta Knight. Cool beans. So, uh, so there's that. And then I can't think of anything else newsworthy. We have all those new icons. We have these Switch Sports. We have everything that we've needed to talk about. Dogs are barking. Uh, I don't even want to cut. Uh, I don't want to cut the podcast because I don't know how bad it actually is. They only talk. They only bark when I'm talking, but oh, what total muppets! Okay, well, uh, I can't think of anything else newsworthy. <laughs> so, um, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else? Uh, news, 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 news. Uh, I don't think so. Look out for more content, and um, yeah, I'm gonna skadoodle. I'll keep you guys updated next week with all the news and stuff and yeah i'll see you guys in the next mario matter episode episode five that'll be next week or something and yeah adios mm -hmm.